Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with the 13th chapter of microwave engineering to see the various kind of microwave parameter measurements. The VSWR measurements we have already been covered. The use of slotted line and the tunable detector was very very important if we opt the double minimum method. So to have the calculation of the measurement of a particular voltage level into the standing wave pattern, these two devices or the microwave components are very very essential. We have also been covered with the power measurement and reported the frequency measurement in the previous lecture there. Let us add some more information to have introduction with the help of wave meter. So here we start with our topic called as introduction to wave meter. So whatever the mechanical type of the frequency measurement technique we have been reported into the previous lecture is basically of the form that is used into the wave meter here. So the operation of the wave meter we have already addressed in some terms for the measurement of the frequency. So the purpose of wave meter inside the microwave test bench is to measure exactly the frequency at the resonance here. Now we shall discuss a simple schematic diagram which will add some more details of the knowledge associated with this practical device called as wave meter. So this is the schematic diagram. In this schematic diagram we have a cylindrical cavity resonator. See this is the cylindrical cavity resonator. The side view is shown to you people and this is with the variable type of the short circuited termination here. So that we can see from the above end here. Now the cylindrical cavity resonator, the resonator the chapter was dedicated to see. So it is the essential modification from the waveguide by closing both the openings with the help of the short circuited plates to get the cavity resonator constructed here. So here there it will be the use of dominant mode of wave propagation inside the cavity resonator. So most possibly whatever the resonance the oscillation we come to see here. So due to the oscillation whatever the reflections or the unwanted things we can say here those can be avoided by placing this a shaded material which is an absorbing material. So this is basically the block of polytron. So this is the assembly for the shorting plunger with the help of which the inside dimensions of the cylindrical cavity resonator can be changed and it can be tuned to the variable frequency values at the resonance condition here. Now for this wave meter in general say that is a circular cavity resonator we have a connection by the coupling hole to the waveguide here. So for the rectangular waveguide we can have the dimensions as like A by B here. Now if we make the use of quality factor for such a cylindrical cavity resonator of the order of 1000 to that of 5000. So that time the accuracies in the measurement of the resonant frequency value is very very high. So basically we have the two types of the cavities that can be used for this particular wave meter and the two types are called as the transmission type and the absorption type of cavities here. So I can say this is the transmission cavities here and this is the absorption cavities here. From the name of these two types it is very very clear that if we are going to use the transmission cavities for the purpose of this wave meter so that time it will allow the transmission of the microwave signal without any kind of attenuation or losses to that particular signal. Whereas the absorption cavities, the absorption cavities try to have the complete absorption of the microwave signal at the time of measurement here. 
so corresponding to the absorption cavities the characteristics and its equivalent lumped circuit can be shown with the help of one schematic diagram so in this schematic diagram we can observe the plot where we have a graph having the two axes horizontal axis measuring the frequency values whereas the vertical axis measuring the power values here so here we have the two levels of the power marked here the p maximum and p minimum here now you can see here when we have the representation of the resonant frequency by f sub x zero so that time the p max has dropped down to the p min and of course at the zeros here so therefore this type of the cavity used for the wave meter is called as the absorption cavity so i mentioned here this diagram to be absorption cavity characteristics and this is the equivalent circuitry here so we know that with the help of the inductor and the capacitor the resonance can be achieved here the resonant value of the frequency can also be the represented same here f sub x zero here so hence this is the equivalent circuitry here so basically the resonant frequency for the three dimensional cavity resonator is given by the equation c divided by 2 in multiplication to the square root the square root involving small m by a squared added to small n by b squared further added to the last term that is small p by we have d which is to be squared so addition of the square ratios is there inside the square root in multiplication to the c by 2 where c is the velocity of the light into the free space or air medium having the constant value 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second small a small b and small d are the generalized dimensions with respect to the rectangular cavity resonator basically and small m small n and small p hold the integer values associated with the propagating field vectors inside the cavity resonator here so this was all there with respect to the introduction for wave meter by the next lecture we shall continue into the same chapter to address the next topic that is introduction to spectrum analyzer so for more such information and the details i hope that you shall be subscribing to ekeda channel thank you